What's up, ladies and all gentlemen? My name is Destroy, and welcome back to Junkyard Truck. This is episode number seven. Now, in today's video, I want to get the, uh, oh, yes, of course, the blockers uh, glitched off the freaking thing. Put that back on there. Yeah, in today's video, I want to finish off this V8 build. Um, if you watched the last video, I had trouble mounting these manifolds. I know you got a driver side and the right hand side, but uh, they just weren't going on. So I figured I'll just try and get the rest of this stuff on. Um, also, <laughs> if you watched the, the last video, some of my shit went flying all over the place. I found like those radiator hoses, one was like outside and the other one was on that top shelf over there. So good work game. I mean, lucky I had a thorough look because yeah, Unless you jump, you can't see on top of there. Unless you're way back here. But even then, that's pretty hard to see. So yeah, thanks for that game. Appreciate that. I lost basically all my other parts here. But uh, I found them. With a bit of persistence, you know. Just keep looking. So what I'm going to do is try and finish this off. Um, hopefully these go on. I did watch a little bit of a video of a V8 build. Um, and the manifolds go on the sides here. And yeah, they just don't seem to want to go on for me. Uh, maybe I'm trying, I'm doing it in the wrong order, I have no idea, but if you look at that, like, there's just no green ticks to be seen, I don't know, so what I'm going to do is just continue on with the build, um, what have we got here, fuel pump, you gotta remember as well, oh, that does go there, I was going to say, like, I don't know the guides and stuff, like, I could, probably could have watched the entire video, but at the same time, I want to figure shit out myself as well, so, so I don't know, I'm not sure what's going on, maybe I have to mount these... Or not mount, maybe. Oh, they were already. Yeah, okay. I thought maybe they were obstructing the manifolds from going in. I have no idea. But anyway, we'll try that. We'll we'll uh, tighten those down. Okay, fuel pump is in. Now the alternator. Is like what I was trying to say. I'm not sure where. Like some components, I know whereabouts they go. Like the water pump and that sort of shit. But the alternator, I'm not sure. Maybe I have to put something else on first. Actually, this normally... Doesn't an alternator normally go on the side of an engine block somewhere? Like about... Wait. Shouldn't that go like here? No? <laughs> oh, man. Okay, let me try something else then. Distributor? That should technically go up the back here. There we go. Okay. Now I'm assuming I've got a bolt or two for this. There we go. Just the one, maybe? I don't know. I think that might be it. Right. Okay, okay, okay. Now the flywheel's already on. Now I know this converter would go on top of that. I think that's one thing I do remember from the video. Yep, there we go. Uh, I'm not sure if there's any bolts for it. Mm, no, okay. Right. Okay, we got the carby. That would normally sit up top somewhere, wouldn't it? Maybe I have to put other things on first. Um, okay, what is that? That's the manifold. Wait. Intake manifold. Then you got the exhaust manifolds. Alright. Head right. Does that not go there? Yeah. Alright. Now I'm assuming we've got some bolts for this sucker. Oh yeah, up top. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, come on. Are you... You're tight. Just like my summer car, it's sneaky. It's like... Yeah, no, nah, the bolt's not tight. Okay, I'm assuming that's it for that. Maybe I'll be able to put the manifolds on now, the exhaust. Alright. Same deal, I guess. Five on each side. It's good, though, because I'm kind of learning as well. Um, I mainly watched that build video just to see where the exhaust manifolds went. I assumed it was on the side. I wasn't sure, but... Um, of course, in their video... I can't remember who, who uploaded it. Um, but, of course, the... Their manifolds, exhaust manifolds, went on first time for them, so. <laughs> and for what I saw today, it was actually quite uh, in-depth. It was quite good. They obviously know how to build a V8 engine in real life, so it was actually quite informative. It was pretty cool. 
but I don't know. Maybe they'll go on now. Ah, so I did. I have to. I had to put that on there first onto the head. That actually makes sense. Okay, cool. All right, so it looks like we've got a few screws here. One, what's that? Six. One, two, three. Are they definitely tight? Yep. Three, four, five, six. Yeah, so six on each of these. Okay, why are you still highlighting green, bro? Like, look at that. I'm nowhere near it. Jeez, that highlights from a quite a distance. <laughs> anyway, they're on. Okay, so. Uh, then after we build this, I would, I'm going to put her in there. Obviously, I'll uh, remove <laughs> the original engine first. And apparently, you can just um, connect it to the existing tranny, which is good. Or transmission, should I say. Uh, I don't know if that's realistic or not. I don't think it is. I don't think you could just <laughs> uh, connect a V8 engine to a stock sort of transmission. I don't know. Like I said, uh, I'm not really that... Well educated with engines, so to be honest. All right, so they're on. Okay, order wise. Now, where does does this go on after I put the cup? Oh, that goes in the middle there. Okay, that makes sense. Cool. Okay, get that down. Okay, how many have we got here? Four, two at each end, maybe. Looks like that might be the case. There we go. Now, I can't remember if I mentioned it in the last video, but it would be nice if this game had like a radio, you know, or something. It's just so quiet. Like, I can hear some birds chirping in the background, but I don't know. Like, a My Summer Car radio would be nice. Or similar to My Summer Car. <laughs> it would be funny if the music in My Summer Car was in this game. Right, so they're on. Okay, now, Carby, will you go on now? You go. Oh, there you go. Right, that makes sense. That would go on that manifold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So a lot of it is common sense in a in a way, you know? So one, two, I'm assuming four. Yep. And we obviously put the air filter on top of that. Okay. Um we'll do that in a sec though. Oil filter. You might have to wait until I put the uh these things on. The valve covers. Oop. Okay. Alright, looks like we're only a few parts away from having a fully assembled V8. Um, I did read as well that this is much... Obviously, it's a more powerful engine, but it's much more powerful if you just had the stock engine and uh, you, what do you call it, put a turbo on it. So, that's good to know. Uh, I had you then tick. Stop disappearing. Bro, thank you. By the way, it is absolutely bucketing down outside, so you may or may not hear some rain. It's absolutely pissing down, mate. Right, there, there. I can hear a plane going overhead at the moment. Tell you what, I'll be honest, I wouldn't want to fly in this weather. Oh shit, there's four on each. Now, I was a little bit worried about the pistons, because in the last video, uh piston was just randomly on the ground. I mustn't have tightened it down. Um, and while I was editing that video, I, I noticed that the piston was on the ground for quite a while and I kept walking past it and I didn't even notice it, but YouTubers are blind. Everyone knows that because we're concentrating on, you know, what we're going to say, all that sort of stuff. So, but anyway, uh, let's have a quick look on the floor. Nothing there. Good. <laughs> right. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Cool. Oil filter. I'm assuming you probably go down the back maybe. This is where I look like a complete idiot, but at least I'm honest. I'm not going to go, oh, yeah, I know everything about V8s and shit, man, and engines. Watch me build this engine in two minutes, you know. Hang on. There, maybe. No? Nah. Dude. Okay, I'll keep you for a while. Actually, we can chuck the fan on now, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Okay, I think that's got one... As I lean in there, one one bolt. 
Okay, I just want to double check these. Just did then, that's fine. Yeah, so it's just the one there. Okay, alternator. Wait, oh, there you go. Ah. See, I knew you were up the top somewhere. There we go. So that bolt's on there. Now, if one thing I realise is there's no belt. But I think I'll be able to share the belt from this engine. Same with the plug wires, but I went I went ahead and bought some more. They're only 20 bucks and I've got plenty of money. I've got my stash upstairs. Uh, okay, so we've got radiator hoses will obviously go down the bottom there. So that even says lower, so that's handy. So that should go about here. Oop. No, 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 no. Hadouken. Um, I don't think they got screws or bolts. Nope. Now, it used to be like that in... Excuse me, grab it. it. used to be like that in my summer car. Now... Where do you go? Oh. Oh, does that share a... I think that shares a bolt. Yeah, it looks like it. Alright. But that's already down, and it's a video game, so it doesn't matter. Cool. Um, so, yeah, belt and the plug wires. There weren't any specific... You know, plug wires for a V8. I guess that doesn't really matter. So I know I probably could could have used them from there, saved myself twenty bucks. But actually, do I? Yeah, I'm gonna need that. So I'm gonna get rid of that. Uh, okay, plug wires it should be on the one side. It'd be driver side, wouldn't it? There we go, down the back there. Cool. Uh, no screws or bolts for them. Yeah, oil filter. Wait, come on, bro, you. Maybe somewhere. Because oil filters normally go on a side, yeah? I don't know. Maybe it's just a matter of not... Uh, like I could be in the complete wrong... Or completely wrong area. Or the game's just being a bitch and it's not giving me the green tick. Eh, okay. Play hard to get. Fine. Air filter. I know you'll be going on top of the carb, surely. There we go. One bolt for the win. Okay, you secure. Yes, you are just. Okay. Right. What's that? I saw something <laughs> glowing green. It's the bloody coolant. Um, uh, hang on. There's the fan bell glitching. Give me that. Now, I'm assuming I can put that on now. Yeah, I don't see any problemo. There we go. All right. So, yeah, the last thing we've got is the oil filter, and it just doesn't want to go anywhere. Go in anywhere. If you're watching this, you're probably most likely screaming at your monitor or phone, whatever you're watching on. Saying it goes there, idiot. Oh, my God. I can't believe you don't know where a fucking oil filter goes. Ah, meh, meh, meh. Or you may not. You might be saying it calmly. Or maybe you're like me and you haven't... There she is. There she is. Now, can I... Normally, an, air, uh, an oil filter would just be like hand tightened. But for the sake of this, there's nothing really... You can't do anything with just your hand with that sort of respect, can you? No, you can't. Okay. Right. Okay, I think that's engine built, man. That's looking pretty schnaz. All right. Oh, no. Hang on. <laughs> Got an oil pan sitting there. Okay. Now, before I put that on, I'm just going to quadruple check these because it's a video game. It's a trolley game. Better to be safe than sorry. Okay. I think we're rock and roll. Nothing's falling out. Like, no pistons have fallen out or anything, so... Um... Oop. Like, what would it give me a green tick like at that angle? Oops. Okay, whatever. You do you, bro. <laughs> at the end of the day, I don't care as long as it gives me a green tick. I just find it weird how like, it could be some weird-ass orientation. It's like, yep, yeah, we'll accept that. Thank you very much. Okay. 
tight, tight, tight. I can just glitch the wrench through the engine. That's great. Okay, so double check, double check. And a bazinga. I think that is done. Engine completo. Now, we're going to need the creeper. Uh, am I going to have to open this? I could probably just glitch through it, but... Okay. Oh, it's raining. Son of a bitch. Okay. Uh, right. Flashlight. Right, so there's the transmission. I won't say training again. Some people might get offended by that. Um, look at that. They don't even look like they're fully tightened, though. Look at that. That's crazy. But anyway, we'll get rid of the transmission. Well, unscrew. We won't get rid of it, actually. Um, no, wrong way. I think these controls are inverted. <laughs> you took, you go left, and you go, like, you press left, what do you call it, A, A and D for left and right, but it goes the opposite way that you, whatever key you're pressing. Anyway, okay, that's done. Forward and back's normal, though, like a W and S, but whatever. Now, the mounting screws for this sucker are there. Um, should I... I don't know if I should technically drain that. Actually, that wouldn't drain it, would it? <laughs> uh, where's the frick? There you are. Yeah. Cool. Okay, I'll just let that drain. It's like a grey colour. Shouldn't oil be like a silky black? I don't know. Maybe you got different oil in North America. I don't know. That begs the question, if you know where about this game is set, please let me know. I figured it's North America North America because the money is American. Like it's good old American greenback. But what confuses me is um and like your sugar packets and whatever is it's measured in pounds, which the Yanks do. But what confuses me is the speed signs are in kilometers per hour. Shouldn't they be miles if we're in North America? Now there's is that the other mountain screws? Up? I think they are. There we go. Right, so she should technically come out without a hitch. Fingers and toes. Turn the flashlight off. Crossed. What the? No. <laughs> okay, so you should... Wait, have I done everything correctly here? Right, radiator hoses probably have to come off. Just because they're connected to the radiator and the engine, obviously. Um, I probably should have done that while I was under the car, but... Or truck. Are you rock and roll now? Can you come off? Do I have to... Okay, there's the other radiator hose. Did I miss something? Get out of here, fan. <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, my God. I'm just going to be taking piece pieces off. This is ridiculous. Whoa, 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 hold up. Ah, oh, you don't... Okay, you just grab it. You don't have to right-click it. Okay, gotcha. Uh, you can sit there. Or you can float like you're on the... In Dude, come here. International Space Station. What about like that? Okay, I'm not going to argue. Then again, I don't want that glitching into the Netherlands. Uh, let's... Uh, whoa. Can't you just sit there? I mean, you're heavy. You're supposed to be heavy. Look at the rust action on that. All right, moment of truth. <laughs> oh, dear. Look at the transmission, too. It's not in good nick. Anyway... Hang on a minute. See that? They don't look like they're tight. Screwed down properly. They are, but they're not. I mean, wait. That, I'm not missing anything, am I? That looks too bare. Oh, maybe because I've... Uh, <laughs> hang on. Let me put her upright properly. There we go. Alright. Can I have me... Can I have me engine now? Release. Okay, there we go. Right. 
Moment of truth. Let's see if she will, uh... Yeah. All right. Okay, this thing I want out the way, please. Uh... Dude, thank you. Whatever, just stay there. Okay, so this is the other radiator hose from that engine. Put that there. Right, so we're going to have to get the creeper again, aren't we? I mean, we could probably lean in, but... Dude, pick it up. Oh, come on. A creeper could not move a truck like that. Whoa. It's like a skateboard. Doing a kickflip. Right, that way. Oh, it's actually going left and right now. Like when I press left and right. Weird. Anyway, flashlight. Ratchet out. Okay. Let's secure this. Okay, there we go. Still doesn't look very secure. But. Whatever. Okay, mounting screws. Oh yeah, I've already... There we go. I forgot I already tightened them down. But I might just do that just because it makes me feel better about it. <laughs> Alright, so that's all in. That's all connected. Yada, yada, yada. Moment. Dude. Can you go? Okay, whatever, whatever. That'll do. That'll do. Get up, bro. Uh... Dude, let me off the creeper. No. Oh. There we go. I forgot you can't do anything like that unless you've got, like, you know, nothing in your hands. Alright. Uh, hang on. Shit. Um. Is there... I don't know if there's... I'm going to drain this anyway. If I can. I was going to start it without any oil or anything. Jeez, man. Okay. Oil. And I'll let that cool and drain. Okay, so this is 100. I'm assuming it's going to take the whole lot. Uh. Hello. Alright, I'll crouch down then. Dude, stop running into the truck. Come on. And lean. Finally found the, the right pixel. Okay, so that's empty, obviously. Okay, close her up. Now we've got... So that's all drained, which is good. And I'm going to tighten that. <laughs> before I completely forget. Okay. Fill her up with coolant. And then we should be able to start her. Fingers crossed, you're going to be a pain in the ass as well. No, you're not. You're going to be much easier. Okay, so you should be empty now. Cool. Alright, here we go. Ah, moment of truth. What time is it? It is quarter to five in the morning. Okay. I don't think there's anything I've missed. <laughs> I'll soon find out if there is. And go. Okay. Cool. Can you get it off accessories, bro? Rather. Alright, so what am I missing here? I don't No. What am I missing here, people? <laughs> um at least I got the build done. Um, yeah, so that's from the old ship. Maybe it's the... Surely the battery's alright. You know what, actually? This battery's been charging for about the last two weeks. So, I mean, it might not be the battery. I have no idea. Let's charge that anyway. Because we can. I'm um, just trying to think if I've missed anything. Clearly I've missed something. I just don't know what that is. Alright, so as you can see there, I've taken it out of the truck. Um, I'm not sure. I might actually end this episode here. Um, whoa. <laughs> I swear you can't do anything at all. 
without making the truck freaking move. Like, I mean, come on. Anyway, I'm going to put that down there. I'm going to shut up shop. I realised I'm getting hungry and quite thirsty, so... I realised I had no food as well, so I had to run down to the shop and get some beef arena and some brewskis, but, um... Yeah, I mean, at least we got the engine built, as far as I know. Dude, stop getting stuck on shit. Um, yeah, so... I'm not sure. I will run down to the shop, or the auto parts shop, uh, off camera and have a look, see if I've missed anything. I don't... Do you see that? That can? <laughs> what the hell? But, um, yeah, I'm going to see what's what. I might even watch that video. I'll probably watch all of it. Watch it again, see where I did screw up. Because I've obviously done something wrong here, or missed something, or something. Because, as you saw... It did not turn over, it didn't start. But yeah, I think I'll leave episode 7 there. Let me know in the comments if you're playing this, if you like it. Have you built the V8 yourself? Did you have any problems like I have? Uh, all that sort of good stuff. But if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more content. Make sure to hit that notification bell so you're notified of every time I upload a video. And I'll catch you in episode 8. Adios.